Hey everyone, so we are going to draw a mandala today uh, to show you how you can use this technique for your own personal manifestations for your spiritual journey. The mandala I've chosen today or the question I've chosen today is for inviting the good energies in our lives because of this new year which is a special new year uh, 2022 and to have a great year full of happiness and achievements. So basically invite the good energies for you to achieve your wildest dreams and i did say it's a special new uh, special year 2022 because of the way the planets are arranging and the energy arrangement um it has not happened in a century and i'll try making a either a blog post or a video explaining that so you can use this mandala and meditate upon it to manifest your desires uh, leave a comment for me if you want to know the method or how to use it uh, to fulfill your desires and wishes and i'll also post a link below for explanation um, either a video or a blog post but first i do want to elaborate on uh, what is mandala and i'm asking this question because lately what I hear, mandalas have become very popular in the Western world and the use of mandalas has been commercialized a lot in the last few years. But the people are nowhere close to understanding its philosophy. And uh, so I hear a number of definitions for mandala. What it means is um, people would say ranging from it's a sacred circle to a spiritual uh, symbol or to practice Tantra. But simply, and Sanskrit being my first language, I've studied studied as my first language, mandala in Sanskrit word, it, it only means a circle, a simple circle. And usually it's spoken as mandal, but every, uh, the most of the Sanskrit and Hindi has been Romanized by British to say mandala. Okay, so basically, what is a mandala? It is a Sanskrit word meaning a circle. It represents the universe. The pattern within the mandala is usually balanced and harmonized, uh, symbol and harmonized, symbolizing how we are all connected and part of the wider universe. And mandala is purely based on science and it represents the formula of five, like solidity, liquidity, mobility, heat, and ether. And all this implies the five elements of life, which are earth, water, air, fire, and space. So similarly, the mandala also represents the five senses of all living beings. And it represents the rest of the world, the essence of the world. In, in a way, mandala represents the essence of the world and reminds in symbols the virtue of life but the most significant knowledge that mandala gives is that of impermanence that nothing is permanent in this world and it uh, also shows us that interdependent arising the circle symbol represents the infinite nature of energy and the inclusivity of the universe so in a sense the circle it represents seeing reality as it is not what you believe or anticipate it to be and this is something we really need in today's world to see the, the way the things are so when you release your attachments and uh, expectations of life there are limitless potentials of what life can be as is the nature of a circle so i would like to explain for the details of, of the mandala uh, in a different video and I'll post the link uh, below but because today's focus is to understand the basics of mandala which I just explained and to learn to draw one to achieve what you want um, to achieve the question once again for today the mandala is inviting the good energies in our lives and to have a great 2022 year full of happiness and achievements and I'm asking this or I'm making this mandala for the entire world 
we have had a difficult not a difficult not a year but a couple of years and still going on with pandemic so if this could give some optimism and hope to people so having said this what is it that we need uh, to draw the mandala so we need a couple of uh, white lead pencils black drawing paper and pencil colors that is the requirement for the mandalas that you don't use the sketch pen or anything else you need the colored pencils after you have all your stuff do a meditation to bless our materials and our materials being the two pencils and the black paper i am going to leave a link of this meditation in the comments so you can do it at on your own time and when we do this meditation uh we also ask for a symbol to be given to us in response to our question or wish we have posed in this case like i said we are working on the mandala to invite the good energies in our lives and to have a great 2022 year full of happiness and achievements and i am asking this for every each and every person in the whole world okay so for example the mandala you're looking at i was working on it for myself uh, to clear the energy of clutter around me lately there's always clutter around me so then the symbol came i started from the square so this is how we will you know make a mandala so if you're ready to see all this magic happen then we have uh, i have drawn a circle and you can use a compass or anything so that it's um, clean and this is how i do the mandalas on a black paper with a white pencil and the reason being a black circle it represents that we are preparing for the beginning of a new cycle okay and it can uh, it also represents a void or empty space that is ready to be filled up again okay and in a, um and the black circle also represents transformation and emergence of higher self that is what we need anyways to draw our mandala and then we have a white circle so this white circle represents the beginning of new cycle and opportunities for spiritual growth and we know the white represents purity perfection and new life so i have already done meditation receiving a symbol blessing and materials so i am going to get started with i'll draw the symbol i got and then just build from there for now i don't have a plan the which you should not have a plan either because we are not thinking with our brain we are thinking with our heart we are drawing it with the heart okay so the symbol i received was because it's the holidays and i asked my thing was the it was more like an ornament i thought so i will start with the circle that i got and you don't have to be an artist uh, to do this it's not a competition with other people there is no masterpiece ending although if you just follow what your heart tells you, your intuition guides you and i assure you that you will in the end it would be a masterpiece that would uh, actually bring out what you ask for whatever you're manifesting it will help you manifest that okay so this was like a this is what i got and i'm going to start from here and then i will see where it leads me you can start from any corner or anywhere i don't i just started from the middle because you know i wanted to say so, uh, mm. and there is no rhyme or reason to what i am drawing or you will draw this is this is what comes to my mind and i like it so i am uh, drawing all this okay and then the fun part this is fun for me and i hope it would be fun for you and then the other fun part is to actually color in these things and the colors also uh, there is no rules because this is for what we like to do so whichever colors you like you're welcome to use those or experiment with them but i'm pretty sure that your intuition will guide you and that would be the the right thing to make i think i'm going to draw some little tree over here it can be anything it can be the tree or the energy for what we are asking
so in a way just like when we were in uh, i don't know kindergarten or second grade that we could draw things whichever came to mind so that is what i am doing exactly at this time and this is the whole idea of mandala because and then if i'm not even speaking <laughs> it becomes like a meditation and uh, you just you know you zone out and just color or draw like now when i do this i'm going to take an attempt to make a, a reindeer or something because that is what came in my mind from here and i i really don't know how to draw figures or anything so don't think i'm an artist Yep. I think it's coming along. It does look like a little green here. Even if it doesn't, then it's an abstract. You see, um because anything we draw here, everything is representing something. And it doesn't have to be the exact thing what for example I'm making a ring here, but you can make something else. Even a square that is abstract for ring here. It doesn't have to be the figurines or what we cannot draw. every little squiggly we draw that goes towards what we were trying to uh manifest and it always has a meaning and uh, for you as you draw more you will start interpreting them as well and then coming back to my tree um i am going to put more stuff on it when i color because this is what i see in it uh what else is coming to my mind to draw i think i'm all into what oh yes the but i'm forgetting i wanted to draw in according to me still not finished i need something more in it if you get stuck on the middle like i'm not but because it is in my head but if you get stuck then you just um close your eyes and think for a minute or you know i'm not going to say meditation but just think for a minute and uh, you will get uh, the next step to it okay and i want to draw something but i'm thinking I, a hummingbird was coming to my mind or a snowflake so let's see what i make was to say black paper and this was our third eye in the center and now we have this um i think i like the what i'm making here and in a few minutes we will be coloring it just one more something is missing that i need to something is missing that i need to draw and you will always know when the when all the information has been transferred to the paper you will always know that ah oh, this is complete now and i can end it i got it i want to draw a little bird somewhere so this is my mandala for what uh, we asked that we can have the good energy for all of us and have a wonderful new year which is 2022 so now we are done with this and i'm going to start coloring and coloring again once again i just i like to use whatever i uh, the colors i like um so i'm going to start with a blue because i wanted to do on the on the moon and sometimes i keep the white lines and sometimes i don't so it depends wherever it seems that i need to make a distinction i will keep the white light a uh, uh, white line otherwise i can just color over it it all depends by the end i don't know how it would turn out i can list uh, these were pretty they were not uh, they were not spendy at all these pencil colors and uh, i can list them in the uh in the comment section if you are interested so i bought them at amazon 
I'm gonna take the the purple. It's metallic purple because I want to color my little bird. Change my mind. It's gonna be pink. And from time to time, I also show uh, the other art I make, which is the intuitive art. Um, you know, the tiles, the bottle paintings I do, or a canvas. Um, the next time I do it, or if you uh, like this, then you can subscribe and and uh, <clears throat> you can subscribe to this channel and so that you know when I'm drawing more things and you can you can watch them and learn them and draw it. My, my goal is that you can do it on your own so that you know you don't have to uh, depend on anyone to do this. And if you have any requests or, uh, you know, for manifestation, you're welcome to write. You can directly write to me or you can write in the comments and then I can take up that, uh, you know, one of the Mondays and we can do it. Uh, we can make that mantra according to your request, what you want to be manifested. Once again, it's not, when I say manifesting it, it's not really like, it's not really magic. It's just all science. It's, I, I see things, everything in terms of science, being a scientist. Um, but but everything is related to science. It's more like like attracts like. And in, in the chem lab, for example, when we make crystals, if I if I want to have a big blob of the crystals, I add a tiny crystal in my solution. And before you know, a whole through the whole solution turns into crystals so that is the same as saying attracting something when it has a chemical basis to it Did you see? So uh, just all of a sudden I had this inclination that I need to put a little crown on this board and I put it. So this wasn't, so nothing is planned. It's just as you draw, you will find that some ideas just keep coming, coming on you. And then uh, if you follow them, you will have a masterpiece in the end. And especially the one that, uh, you know, attracts our motives or to fulfill the motives. I want to make the hoofs gold. I just recently painted some horses and they looked really nice with the gold hoof. Not to mention this on the face. Oh, it's nice drawings on it because this is my magical gear that has appeared in the middle of this beautiful night on a special New Year's like I said. Because of the because of the planetary arrangement, like I said, it hasn't happened in a century. Like some people are saying that it seems like, believe me or not, uh, there are different energies. Yeah, of course, it is energy for the good this year. And I'm trying to harness that energy for all of us. I think I like this brown color for the, for the deer, so I'm gonna add a little more to it. I do wish that you guys uh, learn this and draw for yourself but in the meantime like I said you can use the one uh, we're drawing right now and keep it with you so that uh, you have that energy um, in your home I kind of like the brown today I don't know why but I do so I'm gonna put more brown for the deer
you see these things they just appear randomly on its own and so I just draw it The gear looks pretty good. The way the what's coming to my mind as I draw this is that there is magic in the ear and it's very peaceful and it's it's like it's like everything coming together. So like a calm place or an optimism of some sort. And then I also write write down whatever the thoughts are coming to me afterwards. Enchanted is a word I guess. How does it look so far? Hope you guys like it and um, I hope we can meditate upon it every day so that we can harness the good energy for us. It doesn't take long, maybe two weeks or one week is enough if we actually are focused. That's why I made the Mandala Mondays. I think this is it. I have no nothing else left to draw in here, and this is our mandala for harnessing the good energy from the special New Year 2022. Uh, and I'm like I said, I'm doing it for the world, um, and that energy so that everyone can manifest or live their wildest dreams at least this year. And if you believe in it without any judgments, uh, you will see that it is true. And I don't, as I always say, do not just take me or my word for it. No, uh, be a scientist, do it, and then find out how it works or if it works or not. Okay, I hope you can see this. This is a finished mandala that I did. I don't know, it just took a, about half an hour. Uh, to draw all this and uh, I can leave the procedure in the comments also what to do with it so that um, this harnesses energy for you as well okay so I'll see you um, next Monday for making another mandala okay happy new year again and thanks for watching and if you liked it please subscribe to this channel because it will help it grow and uh, give the message to other people as well.